Hello! Welcome to Tarleton State University. This training will take you through the basics of source and claim checking and introduce you to the SIFT method, a series of actions to take when encountering claims and sources on the web. How many of you have seen inaccurate information on the internet? How many of you have shared information online without checking to see if it was accurate first? Has anyone ever sent you information that was wrong? Let's take a look at these memes and think about these questions. Why do you think the quotations and images were paired together? Perhaps for humor? What are some of the clues that these quotations were probably not from the people in the pictures? Well, we know that the internet was not invented during Lincoln's lifetime, so that's a major clue. What do viewers need to understand in order to know that the quotations and the images are not a match? They would probably need to know at least some popular culture. One of the characteristics of a well-informed person is knowing how to verify information. During your time at Tarleton, you will learn more about how to do this, and we are beginning that process with some tips you can use to determine if information you are reading online is accurate. Let's view a short clip. Ask yourself the following questions as you view it. What are your first reactions to the video? Do you think the clip is factual? How might we decide if the clip is factual? Let's watch it again. This time, pay close attention to the words in the video. Now that you've watched the clip a couple times, stop and ask yourself, is this clip reliable? What do we know about this clip? Throughout the clip, there were words scrolling at the bottom. Let's think about these words. First, is speleologist a real word? Who is Chaz Winters? What about the quote at the bottom of the video? Speleologist Chaz Winters claims troglobite type organism, first of its kind, I ain't never seen nothing like it, that's a big bug y'all. Would a scientist speak that way? Let's Google speleologist Chaz Winters to start our investigation. When we googled speleologist Chaz Winters, one of the top results was fake news video does not show mega insect discovered by lead stories. Now let's google cave mammoth insect to see what we can find. Again, one of the top results was this lead story site entitled fake news video does not show mega insect discovered. So let's visit the website. On this page, you can see a brief description that indicates the purpose of the Lead Stories website is to investigate and debunk stories. Also on the page is a hoax alert that the site has determined that this is indeed a hoax. At the bottom of the page, we can read more about the clip. Lead stories found that the clip was taken from a behind-the-scenes look at how the roly-poly creatures were made for the movie Pacific Rim. Take a look at the video. back to the clip we saw, we can see that the clip was tweeted by an organization called Kentucky for Kentucky. Let's click on the link to view their Twitter profile. On their Twitter profile, Kentucky for Kentucky has a link to their website. Since the profile is short and does not give a lot of detail, let's visit the website to read more about this organization. 
Here is the home page for the Kentucky for Kentucky website. At first glimpse, you'll notice that the organization has merchandise for sale. Let's click on the About page for more information. On the About page, what's the first thing you notice? First, the language used is not professional and has a humorous tone. The company states that they are believers, promoters, and producers for the great Commonwealth of Kentucky. On the home page, we notice that they also sell merchandise. So, what can we conclude about the organization based on the tone and objective of the website? Is this website reliable? Most likely not. This website appears to be humorous and uses humor to entice people to visit Kentucky. Based on our investigation of the source, we can confirm that the cave mammoth insect is fake. Now we are going to show you a couple of tools that can help you dig deeper and verify whether an image, a video, or a news article is factual. It's important to note that you do not have to use all four steps of the SIFT method, and they do not have to be conducted in order. Choose the best steps that works for you and the source you are investigating. You may even just do one of the steps and find the answer. Stop. Ask yourself whether you know the source of the information and the reputation of both the claim and the source. If you feel yourself getting overwhelmed in your fact-checking efforts, stop and take a second to remember your purpose. Investigate the source. Taking time to investigate a source before reading will help you decide if it is worth your time and help you better understand its significance and trustworthiness. Find better coverage. Ignore the source that reached you and look for trusted reporting or analysis on the claim. Understanding the context and history of a claim will help you better evaluate it and form a starting point for future investigation. Trace the claim, quote, or media back to the source so you can see it in its original context and get a sense if the version you saw was accurately presented. Which of these moves worked to investigate the cave insect? We investigated the source by going to the Kentucky for Kentucky website, who originally tweeted the clip. We also found better coverage by finding the lead stories page. Can you think of some other ways you can perform these steps? Consider how you would go about investigating the source. How do you know when you found the original source? What about finding better coverage? Can you think of some websites that could help with this? Be aware that just because a news article, image, or video has not been discredited on a fact checker website, it does not mean that the statement portrayed by the article, image, or video is factual. Let's practice the SIFT method together. Let's take a look at this cartoon, which says, Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it is stupid. Would you share this cartoon with someone? A friend, a teacher, in a paper? How come? Do you think Einstein really said this? When do you think it's more important to check when something is factual? Does it depend on the situation? Citing a quote for a paper would be much different than sharing a post with a friend. What about posts that cause emotional reactions? Whenever you have a strong emotion to something, these are the claims that you should probably fact check before sharing. Think back to the SIFT method. What would be the first step to verifying whether this quote is actually an Einstein quote? Let's Google the quote and see what we find in the results. How do you select which URLs to click on to verify? Let's take a closer look at some of the results. While the Quora website looks promising, it would not be appropriate because anyone can answer these questions, similar to Wikipedia. We have no way to verify the claims on this website. Let's take a look at Quote Investigator, as it sounds promising. According to Quote Investigator, there is not substantive evidence that Einstein made this statement. They support their claim by citing the Princeton University Press, which is a reputable source. Let's go back to the search results and check out one more website. This result from McLean's looks promising as well. 
On the McLean's page, one of the first things you'll notice is the reference to the quote investigator site. The page agrees that Einstein did not say this. The fact that McLean's refers to quote investigator indicates that this source is reputable. So, what can you do the next time you see a questionable image, video, or news article? Use the SIFT method. If that still leaves you in doubt, ask a librarian for assistance. Here is a list of fact-checking websites that the librarians use to verify information, and you can too! Remember, when you read something online or in print, use the SIFT method to check its accuracy before you share it on social media, an email, or in a presentation for class. Be aware of your emotional responses when you see something that you agree with or disagree with. When you're looking for reliable sources of information for your class projects, or when you would like some help fact-checking information, your librarians are just a phone call, email, chat, or short walk away. We're happy to help you with all of your information needs. You may email us at reference at tarleton.edu or call the Dick Smith Library in Stephenville at 254-968-9249 or the Rickett Library in Fort Worth at 817-717-3315. Thank you for your time. Welcome to Tarleton State University.